awesome says on the wrist spoiler, of victory in Jesus. Driver of car 24 out of Spring City, Tennessee, Barry Goodman. This driver will start 22nd. He is fourth in the point standings. 24 back to the leader. Car number nine out of Loudon, Tennessee. Loudon Lightning, Corey Hedgecock. To his inside in position 21. Car number 10 out of Dawsonville, Georgia. Give it up to Matthew Turner. In the back. He will start in this position. He's decided to start at the rear. Ladies and gentlemen, car number 35 out of the Murchie, Georgia. Give it up to Matt Helbring. Moving on to the next row to his inside. Car number 34. The driver resides out of the Grange, Georgia. Give it up to Chad Wallace. Starting in position number 18, car number 51. The driver resides out of that Wolf, Georgia. Give it up to Randy Dillard. To his inside in his Chevrolet, car number 44. Out of Dalton, Georgia, Colby Kilgore. Starting 16th on the outside of row number eight. Car number 19, he resides out of Lithia Springs, Georgia, in the rocket chassis. It's Bags, Landon Bagby. To his inside, starting 15th, driver of car number 87, out of Kingston, Georgia, Mean Green, Zach Pilcher. Row number seven on the outside, starting 14th from Phoenix City, Alabama, Russ Ogletree. To his inside, starting 13th, a longtime champion at Dixie and Rome Speedway, the original Rocket Man in the Barry Wright number 92 from Cornersville, Georgia, Rodney Martin. Starting 12th, on the outside of row number six, he resides out of Ball Ground, Georgia. Car 101, Tate McCollum. To his inside, starting in position number 11, car number 31, a former asphalt racer now doing it in the dirt from Cartersville, Georgia, Tyler Millwood. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your top 10 starters for the Hoosier Race Tire South 100, presented by Sunoco Race Fuel at Rome Speedway. Starting 10th, the points leader coming into tonight. This is his house. Car number 84, out of Rome, Georgia. Give it up to Austin Smith. Starting 9th. Car number 03 from Noonan, Georgia, Oliver Gentry. Row number four on the outside, starting in position number eight from Cleveland, Tennessee, John Owen B. To his inside, third in the points, only six points back to the points leader, Austin Smith. Car number 66, he resides out of Rome, Georgia, Jake Knowles. Row number three on the outside, second in the points, only two points to the leader, Austin Smith. Car number 58 out of Apollo Beach, Florida, superstar Devin Dixon. Starting fifth, car number zero one, a long name in motorsports with this family. He resides out of Pendergrass, Georgia. Give it up to Travis Pennington. Row number two, on the outside, starting fourth, winner of the Ice Ball in 2017 at Talladega for five consecutive years in a 525 engine, as well as other accolades this year. Driver of car 18X out of Douglas, Georgia. Give it up to Michael Page. 
He was also the Heat Race 2 winner, Heat Race 1 winner, and a local here at Dixie and Rome Speedway, driver of car double zero from Lippia Springs, Georgia, Dalton Poston. And now, your front row, a multi-time champion, the miracle leader in racing on the Neesmith and the Chevrolet Performance Series. He won last night at Dixie Speedway. Please welcome the driver of the Josh Roberts Trucking Capital Race Car, number 80, Tennessee, the Chattanooga Flash, Ronnie Johnson. Winner of this prestigious race last year, ready to go in the CVR race cars, car number R1. Ladies and gentlemen, the driver in the CVR race car chassis out of Cleveland, Tennessee, it's the hustler, Riley Hickman. There is the starting lineup. We've got two young ladies that are going to give the command to get the Let everybody know y'all's name. Alice K. Alice K. Eva. Everybody, Rome Speedway, Alice K and Eva Vaughn. Let's give these young ladies a round of applause. Are these fans ready? Are y'all ready? Race fans, are y'all ready for the start? How about it? Make some noise for them one more time. I don't think they're ready. Rome Speedway, are you ready? Let's do the command, young ladies. Let's do it on three. One, two, three. Drivers, start your engines. There you go. On your feet. All rise as you're in the courtroom. The 24 charter members ready to roll. One more time for what? Wave your babies, hold on to them. The Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series finale is underway, but I don't think it'll stay green for long. There's caution out. We're gonna do this again. More. Ladies and gentlemen, out of turn number four, green's in the air. We have a race, Johnny Clark. The Hoosier Tire South 100 presented by Sunoco Race Fuels. It's green and Rome Speedway. And I'll tell you, Dalton Poston mashing the gas real hard as he gets in front of his Douglas County neighbor, Michael Page, as they come off turn number four to complete lap number one. One in, 99 to go. Ronnie Johnson up the wall out of turn two in second spot. Lost momentum there as here comes Dalton Poston, a local at Dixie and Rome trying to make an upset happen. While that happens, Michael Page goes to his inside. He'll look for the number three spot on Johnson. Now he'll set his sights on Dalton Poston. Now they set their sights on the winner of last year and the early leader, Riley Hickman, the hustler exits turn four. And I think what Ronnie Johnson doing is he went way wide on the previous lap. Riding to widen that racing groove. Put her up on top side. He knows what he's doing. Back out of the corner at a turn at number one and two. The leader, it's Riley Hickman out in front. Dalton Poston in second spot. Leading the way, Dalton Poston, Michael Page. Michael Page had a runner-up finish last night at Talladega. He sits in third right now. Devin Dixon, two points. Behind the points man, Austin Smith. He's in front of Austin Smith. Every point, every tally counts for the championship. And we're just in the early going. Six laps in of 100 here at Rome Speedway. Clean and green so far. Watching that number nine car, Corey Hedgecock. He's beginning to climb up the ladder. He started this race in 22nd. Johnny Clark, he's right now in position number 16. Well, I'll tell you what, that number nine car, he's up on that high side, and I think that's where, whoever wins that race, that's where you're gonna win it as up on that high side. 100 laps the distance, we're in the early going. Eight laps in of 100. Trouble, trouble turn at number two. Got a car going around at the bottom of the racetrack that's met. Matt Helbing, Matt Helbing, 35, and have a Merchie.
and he'll bring her off turn number four, and that green going big time. Michael Page up behind your leader in the second spot. Ronnie Johnson, I'm telling you what, that high side is going to be the right side tonight. Leaders exit off of turn four. They're all bunched up all over the racetrack. Action everywhere. Riley Hickman, Ronnie Johnson, Michael Page, top three, Dalton Post and Devin Dixon. There's just, there's great battles all over the track. Johnny Clark picked something. It's right there. Look at Millwood and Austin Smith. They battle door to door going back to turn one inside the top ten. Man, it looked like Travis Millwood in that old, or Travis uh, Pennington in the old one car. He also putting her on the high side, but this time he comes off turn number four and he'll put her in front of Jake Knowles. And Oliver Gentry in the 03 car. Man, he always does a lot of uh, fishing out there. And he always works that bottom. But I'll tell you what, he's putting it all over the racetrack here tonight at Rome. You've got the race within a race. The championship will be decided here tonight. We're on lap number 12 of 100. The Hoosier Race Tire South, 100 percent by Sunoco Race Fuels. 10,000 to win, a $10,000 championship up for grabs as well. And in the early going, the winner from last year, the hustler from Cleveland, Tennessee, Riley Hickman leads the way. He's got now Ronnie Johnson and Michael Page to deal with as they exit turn four. Landon Bagby got a pretty good little run going for the youngster out of Lithia Springs. He's working the bottom, but you know, he's, uh, he is just like Dalton Poston. They don't have that much experience against the likes of Ronnie Johnson or Riley Hickman. What do you do for these 100 lap races, Johnny Clark? How do you set up for them? Do you drive wide open in all 100, or do you try to find a rhythm, set the pace, then go all out in the final 20? There you go. I like that, you know, kind of lay low for a while, then right there at the very end, let her all hang out. And the question is, when? When will these drivers pull the trigger? Will it be after halfway? Will it be at lap 50? Will it be at lap 75 or even lap 90? Three wide, contact, and he spins out of turn number four. Helping smacks the outside ball, and he collects Devin Dixon. Devin Dixon gets collected. Tire, Euchre tire goes flying through the air as well. After the caution, it was called on 35 of helping. Devin Dixon gets his spot back. He got his spot back, so he got himself a mulligan, if you want to call it that. Back for Green, down the back straightaway. Leader. Hickman off the corner, trouble in turn number two. Ogletree bounces off the wall, thought he was going to keep rolling, but he stalls in turn two. Now limping up the top of the wall. They get ready to come back for Green. Hickman out in front. He said that if they, you need, you got to be smart and fill your tank to the top. A, a full tank of fuel could get between 130, 140 laps. Cars getting antsy down the back straightaway. That's John Owenby. He about tagged Zach Pilcher. They keep it going. Forward momentum. Good save by Landon Bagby and Rodney Martin as well. Now they're three wide. Car off the pace. Oliver Gentry in turn number two. His car with a problem. Johnny Clark in turn two in the caution. Not out yet. Not out yet. Now the caution's going to come out for the fourth time. So Oliver. Out of turn number four. Ready to bring them back to the screen. Back to turn one. Hit the same song and dance. Here comes Devin Dixon on the outside. Three wide down the back straight away. Millwood, the hot dog between the bun. The pizzas of bread is Landon Bagby. Now they're going to go four wide almost with Hedgecock in the mix and Rodney John Martin as well. They go back into the corner. Boy, oh boy. Four wide and three wide out of turn two. Got Devin a tip, Dixon got a tip on hat. To that Landon Bagby in that 19, he driving the wheels off that race car. My goodness, they were going four wide in one row and three wide on another, exiting the corner of two. Well, that happens. Riley Hickman has checked out. Again, Michael Page second. Ronnie Johnson third. Devin Dixon fourth. Travis Pennington, he's in fifth. He's somebody to watch in that 0-1 at a Pendergrass, Georgia. Yeah, he, hey, hey, he's won up here before. He knows how to do it. 23 laps in of 100. 
Johnny Clark, Wesley Outlet at the call. This is the finale for the Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series. Audio cast coverage of the Hoosier Race Tire South 100 presented by Sunoco Race Fuels. Three wide out of turn four. Chad Wallace in the middle now, battling with Matthew Turner and Oliver Gentry back to one. And while that goes on, your leader, Riley Hickman, Johnny, is about to pick up black marker cars. First one being at Worth, Georgia's Randy Dillard in 51. And we're about uh, a quarter of the way finished. Still got three more to go, but I'll Seven tell you, five. Riley Hickman is just having a field day here tonight at Rome. And like you said, he's getting ready to get traffic in, but he's got a commanding lead over that number 18 of Michael Page as they come off turn number four. So, uh, I, you know, Riley Hickman, I don't know what it is, but baby, he is rolling. 25 laps in, let's give me your top 10 as it stands right now. Has almost had some contact between Tate McCollum and Oliver Gentry. Behind that was also Brian King watching that battle. That was inside the top 20. Top 10 as it stands right now. Riley Hickman leads. Michael Page is second. Ronnie Johnson third. Devin Dixon fourth. Travis Pennington is fifth. The top five. The bottom five. Dalton Poston, Jake Nobles, Zach Pilcher, Austin Smith, and Tyler Millwood. The top 10 as it stands. And now we get ready to work lap number 30. 70 to go. And it's still the hustler Riley Hickman, the defending winner of this race out in front. Got that hornet's nest beginning to prove Johnny Clark is what we were talking about, action everywhere. Not, you know, everywhere you look, you got racing going around and your leader, Riley Hickman. Bless goodness, man, I, I don't know his, how his nerves are, but mine just tore all to pieces. Well, he's picking off lap cars. First one's gonna be very good, but he puts him a lap down. Ryan King goes a lap down in the 30. Tate McCollum now goes a lap down. Riley Hickman just passed three lap cars in less than two corners. And while that happens, one car up the wall in turn one. That's going to be Ryan King. Flying Ryan King and the Warrior Comanche number 30 at a Seaborne. 68 to go. Back through the green flag here at Rome. Happy Labor Day to you. It's officially Labor Day Monday. Good morning. 12 midnight on a Monday. Oh, Devin Dixon gets some company by Jake Knowles. They're racing for the championship. Dalton Polson's in that mix. Zach Pilcher as well. Back to turn one. Polson's got something happen to the double zero like a draft at Talladega at Daytona. He's falling back. Zach Pilcher in that 87 car. Man, he threaded the needle coming off into turn three and four. Man, he got he got he got a good deal going. Three, four, five, six, seven spot for the Floyd County car of uh, Zach Pilcher. 35 laps in, 65 to go, 15 to halfway, and Riley Hickman with clean air again out in front. Michael Page and Ronnie Johnson contest for second. The Chattanooga Flash in the Capital Race Car 85. Winner last night at Dixie. He goes to second spot, going to turn three. And I think Travis Pennington, seeing a little bit of what Ronnie Johnson has done, has cautioned down the corner. Ryan King, Tate McCollum, and Randy Dillard, all three cars uh, having a little damage down there. So we'll go back under caution. Hoosier Tire South 100 presented by Sunoco Race Fuels. Back to green, Johnny Clark at Rome Speedway. And Riley Hickman picking right back up where he left off. The flash, Ronnie Johnson on the high side. Here comes that number 58, uh, Pennington. He'll sneak it up on that high side right in front of Jake Knowles as they come off turn number four. And I'll tell you, Roger, uh, I mean, Zach Pilcher in the 87 car got a heck of a run going right now up on that back straightaway into he's working the bottom end of the racetrack and another driver that you talk about working the bottom Zach Pilcher in 87 
another Georgia native, Travis Pennington, is driving the top side of the racetrack, and he's the only driver that I've seen that's making it work in the 0-1. Everybody else is running the middle lane or catfishing on the bottom. He's going to the top shelf, but he's making it stick. Now, Corey Hedgecock is going to try to follow what Pennington does and try to pick off some cars that way, too. And I'll tell you, I'm looking at Austin Smith up on that high side, trying to stay out of trouble, yeah. trying to put it all together. Austin Smith has now started running the top side, and, and, and this all started by, I believe, seeing what Travis Pennington was doing because he started running the top of the racetrack. Now all the drivers are getting the courage to take it to the top side. John, Ronnie Johnson, Michael Page contest heavy for the bridesmaid spot out of turn two. Ronnie Johnson, he knows. When we fast approach the halfway point, he, he, he's probably already thinking up on lap 75 right now. 43 laps in, seven to halfway, 57 to the finish of the Hoosier Race Tire South 100 presented by Sunoco Race Fuels here at Rome Speedway. Happy Labor Day to you. This is our salute to you on this Labor Day weekend 2017 from America's Leader in Racing. Top five, Riley Hickman, Ronnie Johnson, Michael Page, Devin Dixon, Travis Pennington is the way they stand. And Riley Hickman, clean air. He's about to start picking off lap cars, beginning with Matthew Turner, exiting turn three this time by. Rodney Martin in that number 92 had a good run going all night long and not making too much noise, but he's just right up there amongst them. And Jake Knowles in the 66 trying to, he finally works around the double zero of Dalton Polson and heads up the back straight away. Couple laps before halfway. 100 laps the distance. For those that are tuned in, listening to our audio cast coverage, we're about to come halfway through this deal. Normally, 40, 50 laps is the distance for a regular race night. You're gonna double that here tonight as we're two to halfway, working lap 48. Riley Hickman still out in front. Riley Hickman there at the strike, just picked off Ryan King and Matthew Turner putting those two cars a lap down. And he's got a strong piece. They're gonna come to the cross sticks this time by Johnny Clark. 50 down, 50 to go here at Rome Speedway in Georgia. And I'll tell you, Riley Hickman, Rolling on down the highway here tonight at Rome. Full field rundown as it stands after halfway. 50 laps in, 50 laps to go. In the Hoosier Race Tire South 100 presented by Sunoco. Riley Hickman leads, Ronnie Johnson second, Michael Page third, Devin Dixon fourth, and Travis Pennington the top five. Zach Pilcher is sixth, Jake Knowles is seventh, Dalton Poston eighth, Austin Smith is ninth, and Rodney Martin the top ten. Then it's Millwood, Bagby, Gentry, Owen B. Wallace, Hedgecock, the top 15, Hedgecock, Kilgore, Goodman, Turner, Ryan King, the top 20, and the rundown is McCollum, Dillard, Ogletree, and Helbing. That's the way they stand just after halfway. We're now on lap 52, now 53, 47 laps to go in the century grind here at Rome Speedway, Johnny Clark. Riley Hickman now passing Corey Hedgecock. Hedgecock going to lap down in the nine car. Looking at one of the youngins out there, and that is uh, Landon Bagby. He's been working for a long time to get around the 31 of Tyler Millwood. He finally got her done and heading up on turn number two. And I'll tell you, it looks like that car might have got a little bit loose coming off turn number two. Tyler Millwood, a former asphalt racer. That's how, so I, how I first met him, racing in the old uh, ASA, RC Cola Moon Pie, Southeast Asphalt Tour. He also ran some pro all-star series events on asphalt. Tyler Millwood now running on the dirt. Another driver that's a former asphalt racer, TJ Reed. You saw him oh, yeah. earlier tonight from Ackworth, Georgia. He ran that super late model, Rome Boss 3000, which was won earlier tonight by Jason Croft. 58 laps in, 42 to go. No change in the top five. Riley Hickman, Ronnie Johnson, Michael Page, 
Devin Dixon and Travis Pennington. Riley Hickman trying to double down. Win, a, win two years in a row. And how about this weekend? It's been a phenomenal weekend of racing, uh, Johnny Clark. And I know I was talking with Mickey Swims and with Mike Vaughn and Adam Stewart. They plan on having this tradition continue with uh, Dixie and Rome Speedway and America's Leader in Racing for years to come on Labor Day. You know, I, I think what Mike Vaughn has done is, uh, with this 525 series is uh, phenomenal because I still say that this engine is the engine of the future. For only $10,000, you could buy five or six of them, what some of these got late model drivers are buying engines for. Not taking anything away from the outlaws of the Lucas Oil. They've got a great product, but we... Yes, we sir, to the grassroots, to the blue collar. So uh, hey, I'll put the 525 the series up against anybody. Well, in the Ice Bowl, the last five years, the 525 engine has won the Super Late Model portion of the Ice Bowl. This year's winner, a, ge a gentleman on the racetrack right now, sitting in third, Michael Page did it out of Douglasville, Georgia, in that number 18 Troy Bear trucking entry. Laps winding down, 37, and we're in this, we're in this green flag stage, Johnny Clark, we talked about. We're in that green flag stage where we had cautions, 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 and then we settle in for a green flag run. And this is what we got right now. And while that goes on, I'm watching Riley Hickman. That man's gone. He's about to pick off. Man, he's about to pick off Landon Bagby, Tyler Millwood, and Oliver Gentry. He's about to lap three cars at one time as he dives into turn number three. Look at the, look at the movement. Just look at the, it's like an orchestra, the way he dives in there, a symphony of speed, diving into the corner, picking off those cars, and just while that happens, Ronnie Johnson is not being able to run down Hickman. He's not gaining on him momentum on him. Let me ask you a question. If the race were to end now, who would you cha who would your champion be? Yeah, here's the thing. Devin Dixon was two points back to to uh, to Austin Smith, second. So I'm watching Devin Dixon. He's fourth. Austin Smith is tenth. That's six points. Mm. So, and I'll tell you something else. If if Devin if Devin Dixon wins the race or or wins the championship. He will also be the Cruise with the Champions Rookie of the Year. And for the first time ever in the history of the uh, Chevrolet Performance Super Series, we will have a champion and a Rookie of the Year champion at the same time. There you go. But I'll tell you, they split in the seam. 30 to go. 70 laps are in. <clears throat> and these guys are in. Hey, they're in that mode. They're in that green flag mode. And I'll tell you what, Ronnie Johnson coming off two and uh, Riley Hickman, he'll head into three. In the home stretch, working lap number 72 of 100. We said it, Johnny, to get down to that final 30 laps, 25 laps, is this when you start to get on the pedal and go? I don't know. Damage already been done by a Riley Hickman at R1. I'm thinking Ronnie Johnson may be playing possum. Well, no, I think he might be trying to reel him in. Just bit by bit. Seventy-five laps on the board. This time by. Twenty-five laps remain in the Hoosier Race Tire South 100 presented by Sunoco Race Fuel here at Rome Speedway. Riley Hickman, Ronnie Johnson, Michael Page, Devin Dixon, Travis Pennington, the top five. It has all been Riley Hickman since the drop of the green laundry, as you say, uh, Johnny Clark. <laughs> Here comes Hickman, now about to put a lap down on the Cartersville, Georgia native of the original Rocket Man, Rodney Martin. 
Rodney had a top five finish. You said he had one of the best runs you've seen him run at Dixie last night. Long time, long time. Very proud of him. The race within the race, the championship as well. Austin Smith came into tonight with a two-point lead over Devin Dixon. Devin Dixon is in second. Jake Knowles, third in the points, six points back. And in fourth, Corey Hedgecock, 24. Let's uh, mathematically say, hypothetically, his shot is out for the championship. But for Austin Smith, Devin Dixon, Jake Knowles, every position, every pass, every move counts in these final races, these final laps of the 2017 season. That's now 80 laps are in, 20 to go. Oh my goodness. Nerves are biting. Austin Smith digging down the bottom, right in front of you, leader. Raleigh Hickman coming off turn number two and up the backside. Wow. How close would this be? Obviously, if, if, if Devin Dixon won the race, he'd be the champion. Or if Austin Smith won the race, he'd be the champion. Or if Jake Knowles won the race, he'd be the champion. But now you kind of got all this synchronization bunched in, mixed in with the pack. Ronnie, uh, Devin Dixon's fourth. You've got Jake Knowles sixth. And Austin Smith is ninth. So the top three in the top ten and you got Corey Hedgecock a lap down in 16th. So mathematically, I would say again, Hedgecock is out of it. It's just gonna be interesting to see what spots are gained and lost between Dixon, Knowles, and Smith for the championship. And we're working lap number 84. Speaking of the car 84 of Austin Smith, who wants to be the champion. Would this place become a roaring crescendo if the local boy out of Rome, Georgia would win the championship tonight? Three wide, two rows deep out of turn four. Ryan King, Hedgecock, Pilcher in that mix. Then they're going to try to go two deep again off into the corner with Jake Knowles in the mix and Travis Pennington to the outside lane. To the line, 14 to go. Now make it 13 to go. Three wide out of turn four. Hedgecock, a hot dog between the bun. Pieces of red split them wide open. Back into the turn is Ryan King and Pilcher back to one. And there's still three wide, Johnny, off the two. <laughs> this whole racetrack, you, I guarantee you, we could race on her all night long if we had to. Because she is awesome here tonight. To the line, 12 to go. By the way, last caution fail on lap 37. <laughs> Not trying to jinx anything, but this is that green flag run we were talking about. Ronnie Johnson working the bottom of that racetrack, but I'll tell you, I don't think anybody can catch that number one car, Raleigh Hickman. The pride out of Uliwa, Tennessee, or Cleveland, Tennessee. Leading the way, 10 laps to go, 10 laps to go. Riley Hickman under attack, Ronnie Johnson closing in on him. Here comes Ronnie Johnson. You talked about it, Johnny. You said he was reeling him in. Ronnie Johnson's trying to pull out the broomstick and do what Bush did at Bristol sweep the weekend here for the Chevrolet Performance Series. Ronnie Johnson closing in on Riley Hickman. Lap traffic in the way. We got now eight laps to go. Riley Hickman in and out, weaving it as he come down the front straight away. Riley Johnson still got him in sight down in the corner, but Riley Hickman going to town. 93, we're coming up on six laps to go. Six laps to go in this race and the season. Riley Hickman. Had a little, had a battle for a minute there by Ronnie Johnson. Ronnie has lost him. Now he's got two lap cars in his wrist. Off the corner, Dalton Post and Travis Pennington to the line. Five laps to go. Five laps remain in the Hoosier Race Tire South 100% of Isonoco Race Field at Rome Speedway. Riley Hickman 
three lap cars now in the way between him and Ronnie Johnson for the top spot. Johnson on the inside. Those two lap cars battle. Polston and Pennington. Hedgecock also going a lap down again. It's Riley Hickman, clean air out in front, but he's got more lap cars in the way as well, Johnny. He's about to lap Jake Knowles. Yep. Won't be long as they come off turn number four. <laughs> Back straight away into turn three. Riley Hickman now trying to lap down the driver that is third in the points, only six back to Austin Smith, Jake Knowles. And what a great weekend he's had. What a great comeback he's had for the championship run. Riley Hickman trying to hold off lap cars. The white flag's in the air. One more lap to go of this race of the season. Down the back straight away. Riley Hickman is going to win the battle. The question is, who's going to win the war? The Hustler, two years in a row. Riley Hickman wins the Hoosier Race Tire South 100, presented by Sunoco Racefield at Rome Speedway. Ronnie Johnson will finish second after a last chance charge to run him down. Michael Page will go third. Devin Dixon fourth. Zach Pilcher the top five. Jake Knowles, Travis Pennington, Dalton Polston, Austin Smith, the points leader, finishes ninth, and Rodney Martin the top ten. So. They're going to tally it up real quick. Riley Hickman wins the battle. Who's the winner of the war is the question, Johnny <laughs> Clark. All right, man, waiting on Riley Hickman. He'll go by the scales and make it, make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. And then we'll see you guys. The Hustler, Riley Hickman! Oh. Yeah, right there about. Oh my goodness. What about a check? We ain't got a check. It's coming. Oh. It's coming. They got it coming for you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a race. How about it? Ladies and gentlemen, how about it? Riley Hickman and Ronnie Johnson. Ain't that great sportsmanship? Shaking each other's hand. I don't want to take this moment from them. They're chatting it up. Riley, two years in a row. Man. You like this place, don't you? I do. <laughs> it's been pretty good to me here lately. But, uh, man, I can't, uh, I can't say enough about Irk here and Ricky. He, uh, hell, we worked hard. We've been, we've been down and out this year. We've had a, we've had a pretty rough season. And uh, it's, uh, we got a win last week. And we didn't run real good last night, but uh, I've never been really – really great over there at Dixie and but uh, come over here and set fast time and end up winning this deal again it's uh, kind of unbelievable but uh, heck it I'm still in shock you're speechless <laughs> <laughs> two years in a row yeah I know it I know it and uh, heck thank all these fans that stayed out here and stuck it out I know it's kind of late but uh, heck 100 laps around here is pretty Pretty long time. <laughs> and, and another thing, you guys took it all the way to the finish. Last caution was on lap 37. 63 laps to the checkered flag. About 10 to go. Ronnie Johnson was coming. What was going through your head? I uh, just get through those lap cars clean. And uh, we were when we were in clean traffic, I was pretty good. And I felt like we were really maneuverable and stuff. And I get to got to those guys, and they were racing pretty hard for position. And um, you can't expect them to just get out of your way, you know, they're racing for position and we're racing for the same deal, you know, and so you just take it and hope you make the right decisions. And uh, when you look on the board and you see five or 85 there, you know, uh, he's tough anywhere and uh, that's why he's my hero and Hall of Famer. Congratulations, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, the hustler, Riley Hickman, winner of the Hoosier Race Tire South 100, presented by Sunoco Race Fuels here at Rome Speedway. Winner last night at Dixie, runner up tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, you all know him as the Chattanooga Flash, Ronnie Johnson. Man, <laughs> how about it? A great race. Uh, we started off just a little bit too tight there, and uh, we certainly needed those greens. I, I was glad we run that whole deal there at the end under green, and 
Um, you know, I, I didn't even know where Riley was at for a little bit, and I'm like, darn it, there he is up there. So I'm, I'm trying, I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm moving around, and uh, he was having some trouble clearing the lap cars, and once he got by him, then I never could clear him. And, uh, I, you know, I, I think we might have made it a little bit exciting there, but we, we wanted to get up there and race for the win for sure. Uh, I'd have loved to... Uh, you know, I'd love to cross the finish line side by side with Riley. He's a he's a good friend. He helps us with the racing, and um, so hey, I don't mind running second. We finished in one piece. Uh, we got, certainly got some momentum built up, and uh, we'll go to the next one. What's that young man, Devin Dixon, about to be thinking about? You've been in his shoes before, being a national champion. Well, I'm I'm glad to see some new names and some new blood, you know, in in the series and. Uh, winning the points championship there. He's led the points uh, for the majority of the season there and had some problems and fell out. But when you follow these deals, it's all about whoever uh, completes the most laps. Um, everybody's going to have a bad race. Uh, you just can't have two bad ones. Ronnie Johnson, winner last night at Dixie, runner up tonight at Rome. Ladies and gentlemen, he is your official 2017 Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series $10,000 national champion. And he's the 2017 Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series Cruise with the Champions Rookie of the Year. It's never happened before. Four until tonight, the driver of car number 58, the Rocket, out of Apollo Beach, Florida, get it up to superstar Devin Dixon! Devin, what a way to come back. You, Jake Knowles, Hedgecock, uh, man, all of y'all, props to all of y'all. What a great battle coming to this weekend. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, it's... Uh... This is incredible, I man. I didn't. I mean, this is what we dreamed of, you know, pretty much the whole year, and we had a couple bad races, and I, you know, the main part is we got back on track. Um, can't thank the crew enough: Augie, Craig Berry, Mike Ray, uh, my soon-to-be wife, my mom and dad. Uh, Jenna, just everybody that helps us on the car, all of our sponsors. Uh, it's been a long season. We've had a lot of ups. We've had a lot of downs. But, um, you know, to come out here, uh, we knew we had to stay ahead of, um, you know, of course, Jake and um, Austin. So I'm not sure exactly where they finished. You, you were two points. You were two points behind Austin Smith going into the finale. We, I, I haven't even been told what the final point tally was. But what was the mindset in this race tonight to get the championship? Was you not even thinking about about that was you kind of doing the Jake Knowles effect when we talk to him next no I mean like you, you I mean you always think about it no, no matter what you're thinking about it's around the back of your head uh, it's ten thousand dollars to win the race uh, which is awesome too uh, but we figured if we come here to win but if we couldn't win we got to have a solid finish and we definitely got to finish in front of those two guys that were in front of us so um, my hats off to them guys for running a hell of a season it could have been any of us standing up here uh, I just thank the Lord above that it's me standing here tonight and uh, just want to thank all of our sponsors Dave's Toe and M&W Transport, uh, FK, Rod Inns, Kaiser, um, everybody that helps us on this car. I mean, it's it's just incredible. Um, and especially Augie and Craig Berry. We, we didn't think we was going to make it this weekend, and we uh, they made things happen, and, and here we are, man. Congratulations, buddy. Devin Dixon, the superstar out of Apollo Beach, Florida, champion and rookie of the year of 2017. Jake Knowles, talk about tonight, buddy. Uh, it was a good night, you know. Uh, we was racing pretty hard there with Devin and them, and congrats to Devin and Mike and Big Frog and all them. Uh, they had a heck of a year. Uh, I just uh, was trying to stay away or stay ahead of Austin there. Uh, I think we did end up finishing second in the points, so that was a good night. And uh, we was a little off on the car tonight, but, uh, you know, sixth still ain't bad with this bunch of cars. and. Uh, Congrats to Riley and Johnson. You know, they're always good on these long races. and uh, We're going to get better to come back next year. And, of course, you'll get ready for the crate program for Neesmith next week at Oglethorpe and Cochran. Yes, sir. We'll, uh, we'll swap motors and uh, be down there for that. There you go, buddy. Congratulations there. Good run for him running for the championship down to the end. Jake Knowles in 66 in the final run. Talk to the man out of Rome, Georgia, the hometown man, Austin Smith. Austin, you gave it all you had. This was a battle, a dream for the championship coming down to the wire. What's your thoughts being runner-up? Uh... It's great. Uh, it's be honestly, it's better than what I thought we'd do uh, when we started this deal. Uh, there's a lot of people with twice at least the experience that I have. So uh, 
I'm happy with it, and uh, we ain't got nothing to hang our head about, so we'll keep it up and uh, go on next week. There you go, buddy. Of course, uh, just in final question, racing in front of your fans and your friends here at Rome for the finale. Did that make it special? Yeah, it did, and uh, I appreciate everybody coming out, staying out late tonight. Uh, every one of us drivers appreciate every, every one of y'all. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Austin Smith, car number 84. You can hear, the, hear how excited he was to be a part of this great championship battle.